Father, we commit this very prayer meeting tonight into your hands that you take absolute control. Please guide us, direct us. Let your Holy Spirit take control. We decree and declare a very good time in your presence. We pray that your power and your anointing and grace be released like never before into our midst in the name of Jesus. And we pray that as the prayer goes forth, signs and wonders will take place, miracles. People will have testimonies to give as we answer each and every one. For your word says, as your word went forth, it healed people. Many of their sicknesses, he hit all of them of sicknesses and diseases. So, so be it tonight. As your word goes forth, and as we pray your word, let this go forth, Lord, and cause healing, miracles, signs, wonders, breakthroughs in the lives of the hearers and the participators tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Dedicate this program once again to the hands of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. You're welcome, beloved, to Divine Release uh, Prayers. Our topic today is Divine Release Prayers for the, uh, Destiny Fulfillment. This is uh, the part four and probably the final part of faith uh, by the grace of God, so I can move on to other topics. So we, we are going to... Uh, first of all, look at the scriptures, the two scriptures we'll be using for the whole of the series, starting with uh, Isaiah, sorry, Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. A hope and a future God has planned for us, and that is which is that we will we'll do well and that will fulfill purpose. Everything that He has predestined for us to achieve on earth, He will, will do so, will achieve in record time in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Then Romans chapter uh, 8 29. Romans 8 29. For whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to conform to the image of his son. So we have also drawn conclusion from here that we have been as born again children of God, as Christians to the core, that we have the image of of the, of the Son of God, as is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We have the divine nature, and we've got, right now, eternal life in us in the name of Jesus. Just as he is over there in heaven, so are we here on earth. Hallelujah. So whatever he can do, we can do. Jesus said before he left planet earth physically, that the things that he did, we also will do. Everything he did here on earth, we will do. And greater works than he did, we will also do. Because right now, he's at the right hand of God the Father, our Father. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we are expected to do more than what Jesus did physically. That does not make us, or will it make us greater than him? Because he is the, he is the greatest. Hallelujah. Fashebo Santaya Basunto. Sekebo Santaya. That's why I believe tonight, as you pray along, that by the grace of God, everything you decree will come to pass. Because your Father God Almighty created the whole world by words of his mouth. He said, let there be and there was. And Job 22, 28 says, you shall also decree things like your Father in heaven and it shall be done unto you. He said, it shall be done unto you. Whatsoever you decree will come to pass, will be established unto you and the light of God will shine upon your path in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You have a predestined beloved. There is something, there is a purpose of God for your life. God wanted something to be done. That was why you were born. That's why you were conceived. You are not an accident. You will never be an accident. You are not a mistake. No way. You are here for a purpose. And that purpose, you will realize, you will, you will identify, you will discover, and the grace of God will help you to fulfill that purpose in the name of Jesus. Beloved, it's not too late. No matter how old you are, you can still fulfill your purpose. I believe God that the, what the, papa, ka, kama, <laughs> what the, what the palmer worm, the caterpillar, 
and all those locusts have eaten, God can restore all back to you in one day. There's nothing God cannot do. He restored all that Job lost just with a twinkle of an eye. Yours will not be too difficult for him to do. He will do it. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. So, beloved, let us go into prayers tonight. Let's start with Isaiah chapter uh, 16. I said Isaiah chapter 16. 1 Corinthians 16, 9, rather. 1 Corinthians 16, 9. 1 Corinthians 16, 9. For a great and effective door has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. As we go towards and, uh, and pressing towards uh, fulfilling this purpose of God for our lives and achieving our destiny on earth, uh, God continues to open new doors for us. Every day you have doors open unto you by his special grace. Uh, but he said behind these doors there are many adversaries. Uh, they don't want you to go through these doors. They want to shut those doors so that you'll be frustrated, so that you'll give up and just live life as it comes. Uh, no way. We will not settle for mediocrity. We will not settle, settle for average life. We will not settle for anything below what God has predestined for us to be. We are made to be great. We are predestined Predestined to be great people. We are predestined to dominate. We have been made dominions in the name of Jesus by the power of God. And that will, will, will be and remain in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So we must decree. Let every closed door be opened and every new door be opened in the name of Jesus. So I want you to pray right now that no power can shut your doors. Your These doors that God has promised to open unto you as time goes on from stage to stage. He makes provision for your vision. From stage to stage He opens new doors and great and effectual doors for you. These doors cannot be shut by the wicked, cannot be shut by anyone. Begin to pray and decree it right now. As you believe in your heart, decree Creed with your mouth. My doors of destiny, my doors of breakthrough, my doors of, of, of progress in life will never and can never be shot by any power of darkness or by any agent of darkness in the name of Jesus. No power, no force, no evil force, and no evil one will succeed in shutting my doors of breakthrough, my doors of destiny, my doors of fulfillment in life. They remain opened. But God, for God has given me the key to open every and every. Uh, every, every door, every door and any door, Pasheke, Rebo Satire, every door and any door necessary for achieving and fulfilling my destiny. God has given that power and that key to open it. And every door I open is opened. Every door I lock is locked. So no one can shut my door that I've opened in the name of Jesus. And no one can shut the doors that God has opened unto me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. No power, I repeat, no power, no evil power, no evil power can succeed in shutting your doors in the name of Jesus. You will continue to have open doors all the days of your life. Every new day, new doors in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So I want you to pray. Is there doors that were previously locked against your destiny, against you, to prevent you from achieving. And that's why you are at the stage you are right now and not be able to make much progress or you have made slow progress or no progress at all. It's time to decree those doors to be open now. It is not impossible. For with God, nothing is impossible. And with them who believe, all things are possible. Hallelujah. So I want you to begin to decree every previously closed doors in my life be opened now. I say, Ephata, be opened, be opened, be opened in the name of Jesus. No matter how many years these doors have been locked, no matter how many months these doors have been locked, Barrepula, and no matter who locked them, whether they are living or dead, but Santa, spiritual or physical, begin to decree that those doors be forcefully opened now. Let the angels of God, heavenly angels, open these doors right now. Like those angels remove the stone from the tomb of Jesus, that Jesus will resurrect. Let the angels of God remove these stones from your life, remove these rocks 
from your life. Uh, let Kibos, uh, whatever is blocking those doors, uh, remove them uh, and let the same angels sit on those stones uh, so that they can be rolled back. Uh, for Keba, for the scripture says uh, this affliction shall not return a second time. The angels will sit on them uh, and prevent them from coming back again uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, once they are removed, they are removed forever. Let every previous door close the gates of your destiny be opened now in the name of Jesus. We say Ephata be opened, be opened in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, never to be shut again. In Jesus' name, my bold ketea. If you know these doors, mention them by name. If you know those things that you have been struggling to achieve that have not been achieved, begin to mention by name and command them right now to be opened. Let them come to you. Let them pick up wings wherever they are and fly and come to you and remain and rest in your, in your, in your tabernacle. In the name of Jesus, never to depart again. My boko to yeketaya, my leke baraka to yekasata, mikete bosata. All your Miss blessings, uh, all your uh, uh, hindered blessings begin to decree the manifest now. Everything that are, that is necessary for fulfilling your destiny that have been shut or confiscated or hindered previously now, be before now, let them be made manifest now in the name of Jesus. Uh, let the power of God, uh, let the anointing of God begin to destroy and devastate every force, every power, every stronghold that are holding them bound in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, we decree the divine release. Uh, of such doors right now. We decree divine release of such breakthroughs right now. We, divide, we decree divine release of such blessings in the name of Jesus. Barokusa. We decree divine release of such health in the name of Jesus. We release your body. We release your soul. We release your spirit from the grip of the wicked, from the grip of sickness and diseases, from the grip of the powers of darkness. Be loose. Be loose. Brother, be loose. Sister, be loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Barokebos kantaya basondoya. Reke boka taya ekete kata malaka to yeke sata in Jesus mighty name Amen 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 Ah kataya kataya robo sata no more hindrance eh I dekete ya ha ha eh I send the fire of the Holy Ghost to the root to the foundation of every force every power or any substance whatever it is that is that has formed a hindrance to the fulfillment of your destiny I decree they be burnt to ashes they be destroyed completely in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth ma bo ya whatever has shut that door on your face or whatever has shut that door against your destiny I decree the force and the power of God begin to deal with them in the name of Jesus. Let those powers, let those evil spirits be bound now in the name of Jesus. I cast them to the bottom sea forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Your doors are free. Your doors are loose in the name of Jesus. Go in right now and find pastures. Go in right now and find your and, and take over your breakthroughs. Ah, possess your inheritance uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, henceforth, your destiny will move forward. Henceforth, your destiny will increase. Uh, Maka, you pick up wings and fly in the name of Jesus. Uh, at a geometric rate, uh, not at a medical rate anymore. Mate bobo kete borakata. Your later days shall greatly increase uh, and improve uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, God will give you double for, for what you have lost so far in the name of Jesus. Uh, increase speed. Maboko to ya attire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 I want us to take a look at Psalm 27 from verse 1 to 3. I'll be reading this from the Amplified. Amplified. Amplified Bible. Hallelujah. To you we give all the praise. To you we give all the praise. Let our lives be used for your glory. To you we give all the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To you be all the praise. Hallelujah. Ah, the Lord is my light. And my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord, the Lord is the ref, is my refuge and for, and the fortress of my life. Amen. The Lord is the refuge and the fortress of my life. Hallelujah. Is the refuge and the fortress of my life. Whom shall I 
dread no one no one beloved the enemy goes with fear he works with fear fear has got torment he, he, he tries to destroy your faith with fear. So we must rebuke the spirit of fear. We must bind the spirit of fear and cast it out of our lives in the name of Jesus. That spirit of fear must be bound right now with Kebosata. The enemies cannot destroy you. The forces of darkness cannot hinder you as long as you are under the blood of Jesus. For as long as the mark of Christ is on you, no one will trouble you and succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. So begin to rebuke the spirit of fear. The fear will give a, 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 a loophole we give an opening create an opening for the enemy to strike we must bind the spirit of fear for we have not begun the spirit of fear but of love of 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 boldness and of sound mind begin to decree that, that you have boldness you have courage you will never be afraid in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i take authority and dominion over the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of failure every kind of fear i reject you i destroy your strongholds right now lose your host and your grip right now from the from the life of every brother and every sister right now i declare and declare out of their lives i'll put you and i send you to the bottom sea forever in jesus name i said that boy lose i said be released from that fear in the name of jesus i said that girl lose be released from that fear i said that man that woman lose and free be released right now divinely from that fear in the name of jesus i pray the mighty hand of god upon your heart upon your life to destroy that power of fear in the name of jesus Barak Fear will not have dominion over you anymore in the name of Jesus. That keboroko sata me take it ayaka to yeke sata is a kebarakata. Ha ha, sitia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge and fortress of my life. Let's begin to decree this to ourselves. Confess it to yourself. The Lord is the light, is my light. The Lord Jesus Christ is my light, is my salvation in the name of Jesus. He's my refuge, is my fortress. Rebo Shekeba, hallelujah. Therefore, fear cannot destabilize me in the name of Jesus. Fear cannot devastate me in the name of Jesus. Fear cannot hinder me from achieving and fulfilling my destiny in the name of Jesus. The Lord is my fortress. The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my light. Is my salvation. In Jesus' mighty name. Marakatobo sete. Ike barakato yeka sataba. Mike borakate. Izeke barakato rebo santayaba. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Verse 2 says, When the wicked came upon me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. Hallelujah. They stumbled and fell. As many as have come against you, beloved, I decree they begin to stumble now in the name of Jesus. Even the physical, I know spiritually they have fallen. Now in the physical, they will stumble, they will fall. In the name of Jesus, they will make so much errors and mistakes that will move you forward in Jesus' mighty name. I decree that evil was be exposed and nullified from your life in the name of Jesus. You cannot be hindered anymore by the wicked in the name of Jesus. Whenever they come, I mean your adversaries, your enemies, or your foes, whenever they come, whether by day or by night, you will triumph over them. Whether in the dream, you will have victory over them in the name of Jesus. For the Lord Jesus Christ has made you more than conquerors. The victory is yours, beloved. Barekebo Santayaba Yekola. Spiritually, you have defeated them and physically, you will defeat them in the name of Jesus. In the dream, you will defeat them. In the physical, you will defeat them in the name of Jesus. If there's anyone that has lost any battle or been oppressed in the dream previously, I decree the table turns right now in your favor in the physical for we know all things work to have for good. My barakataya for them who love God. So those who are called according to his purpose. So kesetaya. So I get the key baraka. I decree whatever defeat, whatever the enemy had the, the, the destroyed in your life in the in the in the dream. Now in the physical, I decree the manifestation of the glory of God to turn the table in your on your behalf in your favor in the name of Jesus. All things will turn around now and begin to work together for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, believe it, beloved, be, pray it, believe it, decree it, and say amen to it, and it shall be yours in Jesus' mighty name. My book is a kebora kataya bara, ozente bara kate borakata, mike kataya kato ya kasando ya rebo santaya. In Jesus' name, amen. Verse three. 
though an army though an army encamp against me my heart will not fear i'll tell that again though an army encamp against me my heart will not fear though war arise against me even in this i am confident what am I confident of? I'm confident that he that has started the good work in me will bring it to completion. He will perfect it. I'm confident that he will never lead me nor forsake me. I'm talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm confident he's my light. He's my fortress. He's my refuge. I'm confident that his eyes run to and fro the whole earth to make himself strong on my behalf. I'm confident because he said he will never lead me nor forsake me. He's by my side every day, every night. Even in the valley, he's with me. On the mountain, he's with me. Anywhere I go, he's with me. I know he will not forsake me. The Lord is my strength. He's my buckler. My rebel shaka. I'm confident of this. That he has made me more than conquerors. I'm confident I have his divine nature. I am confident that I have eternal life. I'm confident I'm a child of God. Whatever cannot destroy, God cannot destroy me. I will fulfill my destiny. I will fulfill my time on earth. The God's purpose concerning my life will be accomplished in due, in due season, in record time. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, begin to pray and decree your own way. Your with your own words, Marike Boshata, that confidence you have in the Lord, express it in words. I escape Bosantaya, pronounce it, declare it right now. Ye Kebora Kata, Ozente Basanta, no matter the war, no matter the war that they unleash against you, we have this confidence that in the, in the end we shall triumph. All things will work together for our good, for our promotion, for our exhortation in the name of Jesus. My book is taken. Tire, my little busata. No matter how many they are, they shall surely be defeated in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My book is a key. They that are with us are more than they that are against, against us in the name of Jesus. My book is a key. Reke Barakataya, Reke Bara, Ozenteba, Reke Baba Santoyaka, Eke Bara Basun Torobo Sandaba, My book and Taya Basun Toya, Eke Bara Katoya Kasantoya. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. How great thou art. How excellent your name is, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So I want you to pray with me, beloved, this night. See, based on, that, on this scripture, Psalm 27, 1 to 3, we're going to pray that what they meant, whatever the enemy meant for evil against you, that these things will begin to work together for your good and for your promotion. Like the case of Joseph. Whatever they meant against him, God brought it to pass in his favor. It bring, brought him promotion. Hallelujah. Let's look at uh, uh, Genesis 50, verse 20. Genesis 50, 20. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. Hallelujah. I'll read it from two translations. The first translation is Living Bible. As far as I'm concerned, God turned into good what you meant for evil. For he brought me to this high position. Hallelujah. I believe that is talking about somebody tonight. God brought me to this high position that I have today so that I could save the lives of many people. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Message translation. So which means you are in that high position, not only for yourself, but to save the life of many, many nations, many people. So you don't just use your gift for yourself alone. You don't just use the money for yourself alone. You, more, you are blessed to bless others. You are a channel. Remain a channel. A channel will never be dry. A channel of water. That water flows through will never be dry. will always be wet. So it is with a channel of blessing. You will always be blessed in the name of Jesus. So remain a channel through which God will bless others and you will always be blessed. There will always be room for God to bless you and you'll be able to have enough capacity to accommodate them because you have released what he has given to you previously to others in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Message translation. Don't you see? Don't you see? Don't you see? You plan evil against me, but God, hallelujah, but God, hallelujah, but God used the those same plans for my good. 
God used those same plans of yours, those same evil plans of yours, those same evil plans of your enemy. God used, we use them for your good in Jesus' name. Amen. As you see all around, you are right now, uh, all around, you are right now, life for many people. You can see around you right now, life for many people. Many people are being blessed by reason of this high position God has placed me. And I believe God for someone listening to me. I'm praying tonight that God Almighty will take with those same plans of the wicked, those evil plans of theirs, is going to turn every of every one of them around for your good in the name of Jesus. What they meant for evil will become good for you. What they meant for evil will become your promotion. What they meant to destroy you will be, build you up uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, what they meant to blackmail you will make you to become famous uh, and promote you in the name of Jesus and make your name great and greater in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, I want you to turn it into prayer right now. Turn that scripture into prayers. Uh, whatever the enemies and uh, the evil ones are planned against me, wherever they are, no matter how many they are, I declare and declare that they begin to work together. But for my good in the name of Jesus. Ah, they will work for my good. They will work for my good in the name of Jesus. Their evil will return back to them, but the good will be by portion in the name of Jesus. But Kataya kasoto ya kataya meke ya ka meke ya ka rakate ike seke bo santa ba ha 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 makata ya basata and we know that all things work together for good to those who are who are who love God and to those who are the called according to His purpose in the name of Jesus. I decree that those plans of theirs uh, will begin to work together for your good. Uh, we cooperate with the plan of God for your life and make them elevate you, promote you, exalt you, beautify your life, decorate your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, what I was meant to draw you back will end up propelling you forward uh, in the name of Jesus. Whoever wants to prevent you from attaining that high status or position in life, uh, in the name of Jesus, will end up promoting you and ensuring that you get there even quicker in the name of Jesus. Ma boku teke tayakata, rebo sheke ikesata, rebo kanta basanto rekete, izeke kata, adeketa, ikeba kata kosoto ya, ika santo robo santa raba santo ya. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to begin to nullify every divination every incantation, every ritual, whatever it is, uh, every evil work uh, that have been that, that, that has been meant to work against your destiny, begin to nullify them right now. Whatever they have issued, uh, every hand right of ordinance uh, against you, because Christ has removed them from the way and laid them on the cross, physically now they must be removed. In the name of Jesus, decreed that those evil will never come to pass in your life. Uh, begin to nullify them. Let the blood of Jesus Christ nullify them. Let the blood of Jesus Christ nullify them. Destroy all those di evil divin div divinations. Uh, all those enchantment, all uh, Cassandra oh, Rebosata, all those incantations, uh, all those voodoo, whatever it is they are making against your destiny or against your life, uh, will begin to decree their nullification, uh, that they be nullified now, they will not see the light of the day in the name of Jesus, they will never come to pass in your life, uh, rather Bosata, let them all rebound back to send us uh, where they are coming from in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Mabekata Ozente Barakate, Izeke Barakato, Malakate te bokata izeke barakato ya kasa yeke rakata bosunto ya in the name of Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus we bless you lord in Jesus mighty name amen 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 beloved we are still on the topic divine release prayers divine release prayer for destiny fulfillment this is the fourth and the final part of it for for this period, for this, for now, by the grace of God. So right now, let us go to our next scripture. Our next scripture is taken from um, from Second uh, Samuel, Second Samuel chapter three, verse eleven. Se Sorry about that. Second Samuel chapter three, verse one. Second Samuel three one. Hallelujah. Second Samuel three one. Are we there? It says, now there was war, long war, 
between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David was stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul was weaker and weaker. In case that did not register, open your heart, beloved, as we read it again. Now there was war. 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 11. Now there was war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. Hallelujah. Saul, so it was not David that declared the war. Saul turned David to his enemy because of the elevation and because of the, of the celebrity status that God had given to David. Saul became jealous and was even afraid that David might now take over the throne. He said to himself, the next thing he's going to do now is to take over the throne. Before they now dream of making him the king, he wanted to kill him. I don't know how many of you the enemy has, uh, uh, has really made up their mind to destroy or even kill and eliminate. Uh, I don't know how many right now, but I believe God that God made you to attend this meeting tonight. Uh, that whatever death that have been issued against you will pass over you. Whatever, whoever has been a martyr for death uh, who could suffer assassination, you have escaped tonight in the name of Jesus. The power of God by virtue of this prayer tonight we decree and declare that you are free you have escaped your soul has escaped in the name of Jesus from the snare of the fowler your soul has escaped from all those plans of death your soul has escaped in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth you will not be the candidate they will misfire they will pass over you they will Center, yeah. whoever has planned that against you, I decree the arrow return back, returns back to them right now in the name of Jesus Christ uh, of Nazareth. Uh, you are free, you are released. Uh, no, 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 no death meant for you will ever come to pass uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you will not die before your time. Uh, you will live and fulfill every day, every second of your destiny. You will fulfill in the name of Jesus. Uh, until you, are com you have completed all, you will not go. You will not die. Whoever wants you to die will take your place. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, hallelujah. And I decree and declare whatever war that they have issued and declared against you. But uh, no matter how long it is, uh, you will triumph. Uh, you will work stronger and stronger. No matter how terrible the attacks are, you will work stronger and stronger. The more terrible, the more the, the, the more you will work stronger. In the name of Jesus. The greater the world, the more fierce the world, the higher your promotion. The more and your enemies will go weaker and weaker. Weaker and weaker. In the name of Jesus. Why you and your family, your household will grow stronger and stronger. We are Higher height upon higher height upon higher heights in the name of Jesus. Glory to glory in the name of Jesus. From blessing to blessing in the name of Jesus. Money will meet money in your hands in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough will meet breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Blessings upon blessings in the name of Jesus. Your hands will never be dry. Your, 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 your tobacco will never be dry of blessings and breakthrough and celebrations in the name of Jesus. Maboko te yakataya. But the opposition be the case of your enemies and all who want you to die and who are waging war against your destiny and do not want you to fulfill that destiny and purpose in life. They have failed completely and woefully they have failed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Once again, just according to the scripture, Samuel 2 Samuel chapter 3 verse 1 just as the, 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 the house of Saul grew weaker and weaker and that of David grew stronger and stronger so shall it be with you. Your household, your house, everything God has given to you, your, your, your children, your business, your career, whatever it is you have laid your hands upon to do that God has predestined for you to achieve in life. We grow stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. You will grow higher and higher and higher. But the enemies, all adversaries who want 
want to pull you down will grow weaker and weaker and lower and lower. They will always remain beneath you in the name of Jesus. They will be behind you. That's why they are called backbiters. They only attack, they only talk about against you from the back. And you're be behind you, they shall be. You will always go ahead of them and be ahead of them in the name of Jesus. You will rule over them. You will have dominion over them in the name of Jesus. Maboke tekata nekeba ozente barakataya. No cause will ever work against you in the name of Jesus. Maboka sa ozeke bara ike kakataya basotuya. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, I want you to join in this prayer now and begin to decree for yourself divine speed. Receive the divine speed. Just proclaim it. I receive divine speed for Kesekia. Whatever, whatever you are doing, receive divine speed right now. Divine speed. Rebusheke, you accelerate right now. That great speed is your portion right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, decree divine speed. Claim divine speed, beloved. In the name of Jesus, it's your portion. It's your right. Baboko to Yakataya. He Kataya. As a child of God, my in Jesus mighty name amen I want you to also begin to decree for yourself and proclaim it with your mouth that you have spiritual discernment begin to, to decree spiritual discernment that you, be, you, are, you are able to discern good from evil. You are able to discern who is good, who is bad. You are able to, div, you are able to discern when the evil spirit, when the enemies are walking that are de decree or doing whatever evil they are doing. You are able to discern. God will always give you that spirit uh, that you will be able, by the by the lead of the Holy Spirit, uh, you will never lack spiritual discernment. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Maboko uh, Shekebo Santa, Eka Santa, and I want you to decree right now, decree, the enemy will not succeed. <laughs> the enemy will not succeed in derailing, in derailing me. The enemy will not succeed in derailing or stopping me from fulfilling my God-given purpose and destiny in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare, declare it and pray it. The enemy, my adversaries, will not succeed in derailing or stopping me from fulfilling my God-given purpose and destiny in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They didn't give it to me. They can't prevent me from, 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 from fulfilling them in the name of Jesus. They can't stop me in Jesus' mighty name. My back and toe in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Our God is faithful. Our God is wonderful. There is none like him. None will ever be like him. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Let's look at, let's look at Romans chapter 8, verse 19. Romans chapter 8, verse 19. Romans 8, 19. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the manifestation or for the revealing of the sons of God. The New King, the New King James says for the revealing of the sons of God, while the Old King James says for the manifestation of the sons of God. They mean the same thing. We are revealing or manifestation. We are talking about the same thing. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly or earnestly waits for the manifestation or the revealing of the sons of God. Hallelujah. Barekata. Yi karakata. Katuya kasotuya. He kasanto robo santabasunto ya barando ya. I want you to declare with me tonight. I will not disappoint my generation. I will not disappoint the creation of God that is expecting my manifestation. I will not disappoint them. Let's begin to pray. Decree it over and over again. Not to make me to disappoint my, my generation. I will not disappoint those whose life have been tied to my destiny. Those whose, whose life have been tied to my calling. I will not disappoint them. I will not disappoint God. I will not disappoint heaven. I will not disappoint this, this world. I will not disappoint my generation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I will not disappoint 
generations to come in the name of Jesus. I will fulfill my destiny. I will fulfill my destiny. I will manifest the power of God. I will fulfill the God's purpose of my life. I will not disappoint God. I will not disappoint heaven. I will not disappoint earth. In the name of Jesus, I will never be a disappointment to this generation and generations to come. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus is Lord. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Bareke. Ike kataya katoya kasatoya. Rebo shaka ozeke baraka tebora. Yebo santa basun tolobo sanda. Madebo santa izekebora kataya. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know what Luke chapter 1 verse 80 says? It says that the child that's talking about Jesus Christ grew and became strong in spirit. He grew and became strong in spirit and was in the deserts till the day of his manifestation to Israel. He was in the desert till his day of manifestation. I know some of you right now, if you look around you, it's like, it's like, it's like a desert. You struggle and struggle and struggle, little comes in, or nothing comes in at all. It's like you are going around in a vicious circle, nothing, no move for movement. It seems to be progress, but it's just a circle you are going around. And things seem not to work out for you. And you now start to compare yourself with, your, with those who were born the same time with you, who went to the school the, the same time with you, who were educated the same time as you, your age grade, and you start comparing yourself with them because those ones have skyrocketed, they've gone far ahead. But beloved, wait a minute. Your destiny is different in the name of Jesus. And I know at the right time, you will blow some. I, I dare say to some, this is your season. This is your time. You will blow some. Your time of manifestation is now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That has been a desert you have been in. But when the day of your manifestation comes, no one can stop you. No force can stop you. No power can hinder you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. That is what I believe, and I believe strongly in this, uh, that no one can stop you from manifesting the power of God, manifesting your destiny and your glory, the glory of God upon your life uh, when the time comes. They said, the, Jesus said he will, rise, they say, he, will, he will rise from the dead on the third day. Ah, so they uh, endeavor that they fortified the, the tomb, they they, they, they secured the tomb and kept soldiers to watch. They took turns. They took shift upon shift so that there will be no gap, no minute that that grave will not be washed by soldiers. And because they thought the, the, the disciples would come and take him and sleep away in the night and say he has risen, he had risen. But no, but day by day, the first day they thought they had succeeded. The second day they thought they were succeeding. But the third day, <laughs> at the appointed time, at the appointed moment, the Angels of God descended and put all of them to sleep. They bore cables at her and rolled the stone away from that tomb. And how Jesus came, as he promised, he came out and ascended to heaven. And I know by the grace of God, someone is about to ascend. The angels of God are coming down in their glory, in their power, with their flaming source of fire. They will put to sleep every force, every one, every angels of darkness who are who are light. He came who are awake all night, who are divining that you will never get up, you will never ex escape. Bad locator, in a lightness will overwhelm them. Ah, Keseka, deep sleep will overshadow them in the name of Jesus. By the time God delivers you, do not know. But right now, the stone is being removed from that tomb. The stone is being removed from your way. Your door is open right now. The angels of God, by the power of God, have done this. And out you are coming in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree your divine release I, from that grave, from that tomb, from that from that valley to the top. I decree your release to the top right now in the name of Jesus. And the same power that has released you to the top, we we sustain you there, we keep you there in the name of Jesus. Mabore Ketebo, Ibo Saint Tables Kanta, Rebo Santaya Kato, Ibo Rakataba Mekeba, Mabora Kateba, Izeke Kataya in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Father. Jesus, you are worthy. How great thou art, how excellent, how beautiful, how wonderful, hallelujah, thank you Lord, in Jesus mighty name, amen, 
Amen. As the Lord Jesus Christ grew, became, grew and became stronger and stronger in the spirit, I pray that you too, now that you have the spirit of God in you and the, the blood of Jesus flowing in your vein, I decree you to will grow stronger and stronger in the spirit. I need it to manifest in your life in the physical in Jesus' name. And your day of manifestation, no one can stop you from rising. No one can stop you from going and leaping to the top in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Moreke Sata. Rebo Shakaba Ozekebo Santaya Rebo Sheke. I want you to pray this with me, beloved. Holy Spirit, reveal me to my generation. Holy Spirit, reveal me to my generation at the appointed time. Holy Spirit, reveal me to my generation at the appointed time. My time of manifestation shall not be delayed or hindered in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, reveal me to my generation at the appointed time. My time of manifestation shall not be delayed or hindered in the name of Jesus. Barobo Shekeba Isekebo Rakata Moleke Baraka Toye Rebo Taka Sotoya, Rebo Shaka, Izeke Kataya, Rakato Kosotea, Ibo Sanda Yakato, Izeke Bora Kataya Kase, Rabasun to Robo Sandaba. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to thy name, O God. We worship you. We exalt you. We magnify your name, O God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Beloved, we are still praying for. Uh, we are still praying our prayers, divine release prayers for destiny fulfillment. We are still praying for destiny fulfillment in the name of Jesus. And we believe God that has started this with us will finish it and complete it with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the last scripture we are going to be looking at tonight, we will be taking from uh, Luke, sorry, Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Isaiah 60, verse 1. It's a common place, and I know you all know that scripture. Isaiah 60, verse 1. Hallelujah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. One more time. Arise, shine, your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Now this time I want you to say to yourself, I will arise and shine for my light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon me. Say it again, beloved, to yourself. I will arise and shine for my light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. One more time, I want you to say this time with all faith and boldness and power and strength that you can summon. Say it with all your heart, with all your might. I, I will arise and shine for my light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon me in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My light has come. This is my time to shine. This this is my season. This is my time to reign. This is my time to have dominion. This is my time to go up. Begin to pray and decree. Whatever it is that will be difficult for you till now, begin to decree. It's time for you. This is your time to surmount that mountain. This is your time to move forward in the name of Jesus. This is the time for that dream of yours to come to pass in the name of Jesus. The light of God has risen upon your path and upon you in the name of Jesus. No more stumbling. No more falling, no more failing, no more disappointment, no more mistakes in the name of Jesus. For the light of God is shining upon your path, and lines will fall unto you in pleasant places because of this good heritage you have in Christ Jesus. Your time to shine has come. Ah, kings shall be, shall be attracted to you, VIP shall be attracted to you. You shall become a celebrity. You'll be celebrated. You'll not be mourned. You'll not be. Tire. River, you will not be mocked in the name of Jesus. You can need to rise. You can need to achieve purpose and goals in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mabalaka toya kaseke boraka oreke borakata. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 
Hallelujah. I want you to at this time begin to bless the name of the Lord. Worship Him, exalt Him, thank Him for all that He has done for you. He has been so wonderful. He has been so gracious to you. Our God has kept you and is still keeping you. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord. All that is within me, bless His holy name. Forget not all His benefits. Begin to bless the Lord for He has given you so many things. He has blessed you with all spiritual blessings. He heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Barebo, all that pertains to life and godliness he has given to you, begin to bless the Lord for the breakthroughs. Those that have come and those that are yet to come, begin to bless him for them. Thank God for your glorious life. Thank God for your beautiful life ahead. Thank God for all that he has ensured or he has orchestrated, he has planned and put in place to help you to achieve destiny. Thank God for taking care of all adversaries. Thank him for opening doors for you. Thank him for taking you out of, of penury. Thank him for taking you out of the dung hill. Thank him for taking you out of out of the merry clay and placing your feet on the rock to stay. Thank him, O oh Kadakata, for removing those filthy rock from you and give you his garment of righteousness, authority, and power, glory, and virtue in the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord for the Holy Spirit he has given to you. Bless him, hallelujah. Thank him, O oh Katia, for your salvation. For many in the Many on this earth, but he chose you, Maboli Keteya Kata, not because of who you are, not because of what you have, not because of what you have done for him, but because of his grace. He so loves you, Maboli Kesada. Exalt his holy name, magnify him, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We exalt you, Father. We glorify your name, hallelujah. There is none like you, Lord. You are the best, you are the greatest. There's no friend like you, hallelujah. There's no father like you, there's no deliverer like you, hallelujah. There's no defender like you. There's no protector like you. Thank you, Father. No provider like you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ha, be exalted continually. Be magnified, O oh God. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We rededicate our lives to you, Lord. In the name of, forever, forever, our lives remain in you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is our Lord. Jesus Christ is our Savior. We believe he's coming back very soon. And when he comes, we shall reign with him in eternity. But here on earth, before he comes, we shall have life a hundred folds. In Jesus' mighty name. Never in our life shall we have a better yesterday. Every new day we supersede. Every new day we better, greater than the previous day. In the name of Jesus, for the part of the just that we are is as a shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. Father, I commit your children to you. And so God, I pray that you will see them through the rest of this week and many weeks to come. All their lives, oh God, I know you will not depart from them, you will not forsake them, you will not, you will not leave them alone, you will not abandon them. But Lord, in the midst of every temptation, you will be there with them and make you will make a way of, of escape for them in the name of Jesus. No evil will triumph over them. Your children will begin to live triumphant, a wonderful life in the name of Jesus. I pray that destiny will remain decorated. In the name of Jesus, that this will remain colorful in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that all that they need to achieve this destiny, to fulfill this destiny, you provide for them as at when due. They will never lack any good thing in life. Whatever they lay their hands upon to do will prosper. Every door that you have opened up to them, no one can shut. Every enemy behind those doors will, dis will, will discomfit them, will decree they be defeated, weakened, their strongholds be destroyed in Jesus' name. And every evil that is being met against your children. We turn back to send us a hundred folds and we turn around and walk up together for the good of your children, for their promotion, for their elevation, and to help them fulfill destiny in a grand style, in a grand style, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rededicate all, all that are listening, all that have prayed into your hands, O oh God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May joy never depart from their tabernacle. May peace never depart from their tabernacle. May they always celebrate in the name of Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, beloved. Thank you for being part 
of this uh, prayer today. And I believe God Almighty that God has heard your prayer as he has heard my prayer. This same time next week, we shall be gathered on this platform to begin a new series by the grace of God. Tune in, invite your friends, and let's be part of this program. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>